the next part will be of the clone and the copy function so I, I'm just going to go through and we will do a basic rectangle or a square or whatever picture you want and I am going to do that there again on the just a shortcut of the rectangle but now I want this one to be exactly in the middle so we are going to go for the functions over there and so let's just make it 25 millimeters and I'm going to do it on the opposite side 25 millimeters use the vertical one change that to 25 millimeters so we are going to make a perfect square now now this is just a sample to play around with it's not going to do anything it's just to show you what you can do and how to use the tools <coughs> in the lesson plans you will find all the exercises that you have to do on how to practice these skills so for the next one I am going to do a small another small square four more squares but you will see now it will always go to the right and down so this is where you really need to make sure that what you do is in the correct direction because that can kind of make it difficult if you choose in the, in the wrong one now I want this square to be on all four of the two corners so I'm going to click but now because it's a square it has four sides you have to press control and choose all four of the lines to copy it's not like the circle that you had only one line to copy so the next one will be in your sketch your toolbar you will find the two lines there if you don't click on the drop down arrow it's claim copy or move now I do not want to move my square I want to copy it so I click on copy again uh, because I'm now on the bottom one there <coughs> if it was center you could just look on the blue values over there and say that is where I want it to be but for now we are going to take it chance we use the bottom one so from the bottom one it was going up this is not what we want so I am going to say undo that depends that this is what I said if you don't practice with your skills it will not help you so I'm going to say again copy because it's the bottom one it is below the other one we need to go below the line <coughs> and it will give you another one over there right let's just say I'm going to do the shortcut now, or not the shortcut, still the long one for practice. We say copy, because it's the bottom one on the left, you need to go further away, bottom left, and it's over there. Choose, now this is not a perfect square at the moment, but as I said, you know from the previous exercises how to make it perfect square right I'm not going to stay there and we make one more over there the shortcut if I'm just going to undo all of them the shortcut will be if I press and hold I will say copy we will have that one over there and now I can just highlight both of them Make sure you undo the ones that you do not want to copy, so click on them. So you have two of them, you can say copy and you go to the other side, it will copy both of them at the same time. Right, so let's go back to our trim tool, we're going to make some kind of 3D, so one is behind it, the other one will be on top of it, so if you check, now one square is behind it, one is on top of it, so this one must be on top again and this one must be behind it and this is how you can make your own 3d models but on a 2d plane easy now the arc tool now this is not a specific um, picture that you can see here or make something that you can really know what we are doing 
just click on drag down and drag down now you'll see because it's not a square it doesn't work that way so start in the middle going up click drag and down so let's just a uh, oopsie and we are going to find another arc so it really helps when your models are perfect squares this is just going down showing you how to use the tools every time that you want to change position you have to just press the escape button click and drag it up so you can go left right or you can It really depends on where you want everything to be. Good. And that is another way on to how to trim, to copy, and how to make your arcs. That's it for today. Thank you, guys. <coughs>